to be doing what Enchain does a little bit and some other things as well as letting you um, have some questions and uh, I'll probably have my normal no comment to many of them but uh, <laughs> we'll go from there. All right thank you very much Craig Wright um, and well he's already done his intro for him and I'm sure a lot of you a lot of you already know who he is and if you don't you will find out very quickly through this discussion. Um, so to get us started um, thank you for all of you as well for inputting um, essentially what your kind of level of experience is with this space and also giving your questions. So we had about 50% um, at a beginner stage, 30% intermediate, and 20% advanced. So over the next hour we've actually broken it up um, in terms of time based on that. So the first half an hour is going to be kind of beginner based questions. Um, I'll be sharing those questions and um, of course we'll run with it and then we'll go into the more advanced as we go um, over time. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, let's get this started. I'm just going to keep my head like this. <laughs> Microphone. Okay, uh, you can keep that and I'll... I will sit like this so you all can see uh, Craig Wright as well. Okay, first question. Wow, okay, this question was from Steve Gopalin. Is there a Steve Gopalin here? No, but that's okay. Steve, your question is going to be asked. <laughs> now, this is an interesting one, and because 50% um, were beginners, the basics of Bitcoin, how does it work? <laughs> and I think we'll probably start with Craig on this one. Craig, you're probably, I hope you have a good, shortened um, description of that for the audience, the beginners. Bitcoin is a near complete graph. Now, what this is, is what people commonly know as a small world network. Now, the error people have is believing that it's a mesh. When you actually look at it, it's a gossip network that remembers. One of, one of the things people are f uh, failing to understand is when you actually seed a node, uh, mining whatever else, you also remember and collect new nodes and each of those exchanges. So the concept that it is a random graph is actually false. Uh, in a random graph, you learn over time, and whenever you restart a node, you would forget. Bitcoin doesn't work this way. It actually learns and collects the topography so that it can become effectively what is um, in epidemiological models and network models, a giant node. That means the distance is extremely low. So the common concepts of things like lightning, where you have many hops, or the internet, is actually false. It's incredibly efficient. People just don't actually understand the mathematics behind it terribly well. It, it's um, a wide area within math. It's been around since about the last 20 years with Strogatz and Newman. Uh, they actually won themselves a few prizes and got into science on this, uh, this sort of concept of design. And this is the heart of what Bitcoin is. So it is an efficient distribution network. What that allows is for people to get a peer transaction, such as uh, either money or smart contracts or whatever else, sent to the verification part of the network, which is the miners, which then settle that in an immutable blockchain that can never be changed. Once that occurs, you have a transaction that forevermore is able to be audited able to be reviewed and you know has happened without having to have external infrastructure, without having to have third parties. That fairly much is the heart of Bitcoin. Okay. Thank you very much, Craig. Um, do any of the panelists want to give a shot at uh, simplifying that even further if you can? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Pass the mic. Uh, thanks for that, Craig. And Good to see such a big room uh, here today, and uh, thanks to Iris and all the organisers. Fantastic stuff. Um, I'd like to just give uh, a very personal example. Um, so there's a there's a developer that we've been working with for many many years. He lives uh, he lives in Russia actually. We've been working with him for about 15 years. Uh, his name's Alexi. He's been he's a family man. He's got two kids. He's got a wife. He's got to pay to send his kids to school, all that sort of stuff. And uh, for the last say 14 years, we've had no difficulties paying him. And recently, there was 
I guess there are some geopolitical changes that made it very difficult for us to pay him his weekly uh, or monthly salary. So I called around to fill my friends at, at banks. I called around uh, my friend Bo, who's in uh, up the back there, who works at Apex and a few other FX brokers around the place. And it was uh, there was no one that was willing to help us pay Alexi's uh, monthly salary. So, but you know, that there was Bitcoin. We we were able to pay Alexi his uh, his salary in Bitcoin. We knew, you know, we transferred the value, he was able to see it. Uh, the transaction was essentially confirmed in 10, 12 minutes. There was a, another confirmation 12 minutes later and, uh, and he was paid and he was able to, you know, pay for his kids to go to school, food, shelter, all that sort of stuff. And, and that is something that gives us incredible value. Um, that the fact that, you know, we can transfer value to another part of the world and that's been, you know, that didn't need to rely on banks or regulations or there was no intermediary bank that was uh, stopping the payment um, and that to me is something you know that is extremely valuable and that we haven't really seen in our lifetimes very exciting for me good example um, next question